Thank you both, Abby and John, for really coherent and articulate presentations. Did you invent the adjective dunantist, or is that in oh, common I currency? Know, I don't think I've ever invented anything in my life. Oh, so I, <laughs> I challenge everyone to use the adjective dunantist in the next conversation <laughs> with their mother-in-law. Um, we have three excellent presentations, and what I now understand from the, from the presentation are going to be the old guard are going to speak next. <laughs> but before we do that, I just, because we have another 20 minutes of presentation, let's just pause a minute and, and, and think about what we've learned. And I'd like you to just, for a couple of minutes, talk to your neighbour and I don't ask, ask three things. Don't answer John's question, we'll leave that to the end. What's the best news that comes out of this report? What's the worst news? And what was the biggest surprise to you in listening to this presentation? So think about those three things, talk to your neighbour, and I'm just going to take half a dozen voices quickly at the end to make a bridge to the, the response we're going to get from our three discussants. So starting now, two or three minutes, talk to your neighbour. Good news, bad news, biggest surprise. Right. Stop. We've got so much to talk about, you humanitarians. Hard to stop. I'd like to hear six people, we don't want speeches, I just want you to stand up, say who you are, and then just say the best idea, the worst idea, I mean the best news, the worst news, or the biggest surprise, and then sit down again, and then we'll have more time for discussion later. So six or seven people, quickly, who'd like to speak first? Uh, Bobby Lambert, I'm uh, the current, uh, a consultant, yeah, yeah, uh, <laughs> sorry, which hat am I wearing today? Um, but one of the questions was we were, the analysis of need. Uh, there's two-thirds of a page in the analysis of need. Uh, how many people are dying as a result of the failures of the humanitarian system? Are those numbers going up and down? And if they are dying, what are they dying of? But that's not a question. It's not, it's a question. It's not good news, bad news, or surprise. It's a question. You okay. expect the surprise is that there isn't the information. How about that? Okay, please, good news, bad news, or a surprise, and not a question at this point. Yes. I think there was a sense of bad news that at least hearing the voice of the recipients was a slightly pessimistic voice, that we're not getting what we wanted, really, people aren't really listening to us, and it's still, as okay. I think John eloquently said, it's very supply-driven. And just say who you are? Uh, Paul Anticoni from World Jewish Relief. There's a woman here at the front. Exactly the same point, but in, in terms of good news. We are asking a question about, at least in, the, in this yeah. report now, that you're asking recipients, whereas in the pilot study, they didn't figure. So that's really good news. Okay. A few more voices right at the back. There's a microphone by your hand. Yeah. Um, Martin McCann from Red R. Our biggest surprise was that you were willing to say that the cluster system seems to be working. <laughs> Anyone else? Uh, we'll take a couple more. There's a, there's a woman there just by your right hand and then a chap with glasses here. Mm -hmm. yep. Hello. Sorry. Catherine Nightingale from Christian Aid. Uh, I suppose uh, bad news that despite uh, you know 10 years or, or more of, of learning in the humanitarian sector we're still not investing enough in, in disaster risk reduction preparedness and uh, you know the potential of, of resilience if that is a potential I think uh, going forward to 2015 that seems like a real concern after 10 years of the Hugo framework thanks so much yes chopping glasses up yeah, Andrew Lorde, consultant. Look, uh, good news, just before I forget to say this, is that you've actually done this five years of work. It's good to see the whole system like this. I think it wasn't obvious to, you know, without your work, all of you, this is great. So we, you know, that is good news. But uh, a surprise for me was this one about the difference between evaluations and beneficiary surveys. So the evaluations are saying that we're all doing a great job, but beneficiary surveys are saying quite the opposite. What is that? It's quite surprising about evaluations at any rate. Mm. Bad news. Final one here, and then we'll move back to the panel. Um, hi, Josh Harris, formerly LNAP, uh, now in Session Medical Corps. Um, bad news, and not at all surprising, is uh, the difficulty of getting funding for countries like CAR. International Medical Corps does a lot of work there, and um, yeah, getting funding for those low pro profile neglected crises is a huge challenge. Thanks very much. Okay, thanks all of you. There'll be plenty of time to come back.